morning everyone today i'm going to explain a unit step function and how to find out the laplace transform of a function in which step unit step function is involved so unit step function is also called heavy side function so this function is represented by u at 0 or u t minus 0 one and the same thing it means what before 0 the value of the function is 0 and after 0 the value of the function is 1 so there is discontinuity which occurs at t is equal to 0 before 0 the value of the function is 0 and after 0 the value of the function is 1 so this function is piecewise continuous and discontinuity occurs at 0. This discontinuity is finite jump discontinuity. Before 0, the value of the function is finite. After 0, again the limit of the function is finite. So this is function is having finite limit but not equal. So therefore this function is discontinuous at 0. We can also define a unit step function at any point A means the discontinuity occurs at A. It means before A the value of function is 0 and after A the value of the function is 1. So discontinuity occurs at A, t is equal to A. Before A the function attains value 0 and after A the function attains value 1. So discontinuity occurs at A. So if we are having any function which is piecewise continuous, we can express that function in the terms of unit step function. Let's suppose before pi by 2 the function attains value 0 and after pi by 2 the function attains value 1. So we can uh, 1 or you can say sine t let's suppose. So we can express this piecewise continuous function in the terms of unit step function. We can take this sine t to be common. We can write this as this thing now what is this this is nothing but unit step at pi by 2 so any piecewise continuous function can be expressed in the terms of unit step function similarly if we are having any function over some interval let's suppose before a the value of function is 0 between a and b the value of the function is 1 and after b the value of the function is 0 again we can express this function in the terms of unit step function we can write this as 0 into unit step at a plus 1 into unit step at a minus unit step at b plus 0 into unit step at b right so now just see are the same or not what is the value of unit step at a Unit step at A means before A value is 0 and after A value is 1. What is the meaning of unit step at B? Before B the value is 0 and after B the value of function is 1. So if you are having uh, values which are less than A, then clearly the value of unit step before A will be 0. Before B will be 0. So you are having 0 when your t is less than a because unit step before a gives you 0 similarly unit step before b gives you 0 when your t is lying between a and b the value of unit step at a will be 1 after a value is 1 but before b the value of unit step at b will be 0 so you were having 1 minus 0 into 1 which gives you 1 and now after b the value of unit step at a after b is 1 the unit value of unit step at b after b is also 1 so we are having 1 minus 1 times 1 which is 0 so which is same as that is so we can express any piecewise continuous function defined on some interval in the terms of unit step function now just see with the help of an example let's suppose we are given a function this function is sine t 
when your t is lying between 0 and pi by 2 and after pi by 2 let's suppose the function is 0 so we can write this as sine t into unit step at 0 minus unit step at pi by 2 plus 0 into unit step at pi by 2 right so we are we can express any piecewise continuous function in the terms of unit step function now how to find out the laplace transform of such functions for this we are having a second shifting theorem now second shifting theorem says that if the laplace of ft is fs then for any a greater than equals to zero real number the laplace transform of f of t minus a unit step at a is e to the power minus a s into f s or the laplace transform of f t unit step at a will be e to the power minus a s into laplace of f of t plus a so the laplace transform of such function f t and unit step it is e to the power minus a s into f s now just see the proof we consider the left hand side that is the laplace of unit step at a into f of t minus a by definition this is integral 0 to infinity e to the power minus a s t unit step at a into f of t minus a now substitute the value of unit step at a unit step at a means before a the value of function is 0 and after a the value of function is 1 so we can split this integral into 0 to a and a to infinity now before a the value of function is 0 so when you put 0 you get 0 right and after a the value of function is 1 so you are having e to the power minus st into 1 into f of t minus a so this is 0 now we can apply the transformation we can put t minus a to some another variable z so we get dt is equal to dz and as t is approaching to a z is approaching to 0 a minus a 0 as t is approaching to infinity z is also approaching to infinity so we get this is a 0 to infinity e to the power minus s you can write this t as z plus a Now you can take e to the power minus a s to common because it is independent of z and what is this? This is the Laplace transform of f t which is f s. This is our right hand side. So this is second shifting theorem which says that, that Laplace of unit step at a into f of t minus a is e to the power minus a s into fs but if you are given ft rather f of t minus a then we can apply second shifting theorem we can add and subtract a now here the function will become f of t plus a so this will be e to the power minus a s into laplace of f of t plus a right so if f t is given to us then it will be e to the power minus a s into laplace of f of t plus a and if t minus a is given to you then this is e to the power minus a s into laplace of f t now just see with the help of an example let's suppose you are given any function as 0 when your t is lying between 0 and 3 and it is t minus 3 whole square when your t is greater than or equal to 3 first of all we can express this function in the terms of unit step this is this one now we have to find the laplace transform of ft means the laplace transform of t minus 3 whole square unit step at 3 now using second shifting theorem we know that the laplace transform of f of t minus a into unit step at a is e to the power minus a s into laplace of f t right so we will first of all find out f t f t is 
uh, you can call this as gt because this is denoted by ft so here the gt is t square find out the laplace of gt it is 2 factorial upon s cube so the laplace of gt minus a in two unit step at a will be to the power minus a s into laplace of gt so substitute over here we get this is e to the power minus 3t 3s sorry 3s into laplace of gt which is 2 factorial upon s q so this is the laplace transform of t minus 3 whole square into unit step at 3 using second shifting theorem Similarly, we can find out the Laplace transform of t square into unit step at 3. Now here, we are having this one that ft into unit step at a is e to the power minus as into Laplace of t plus a. So we will use this second shifting theorem. Because here we are having ft not ft minus a so we will use this one so first of all find out the laplace of t square we get this is uh, no no sorry we have to find out the laplace of f of t plus a so replace t with t plus a open this find out the laplace of this this is 2 upon s cube 9 upon s 6 upon s square so this is the Laplace of f of t plus a. So the Laplace of this function, this will be e to the power minus 3s into the Laplace of t plus a. So in this way we can apply second shifting theorem and we can find out the Laplace transform of such functions. Same, the same way we can find out the inverse also whenever we are having a function e to the power minus as involved in fs so that means we have to apply the second shifting theorem so from here first of all we will write down fs our fs is 1 over s plus 2 find out the laplace inverse of fs this is e to the power minus 2t now using second shifting theorem We know that the Laplace inverse of fs into e to the power minus as is unit step at a into f of t minus a. So when you compare this, you will get this is the unit step at 3 into f of t minus 3. This is your ft. So this will be e to the power minus t minus 3. So this is the Laplace inverse of e to the power minus 3s upon s plus 2. Similarly, we can find out the Laplace inverse of 4 into e to the power minus s pi by 2 upon s square plus 16. So first of all, this is our fs. From fs, find out the ft. This is Laplace inverse of sine 40. Now using second shifting theorem, the Laplace inverse of fs into e to the power minus as. This will be unit step at a into ft minus a. So this is the Laplace inverse of this function. So in this way we can use second shifting theorem and we can find out the Laplace inverse and Laplace of piecewise continuous functions.